Now we will discuss about another part that is pressure. We have discussed that forces push or pull that is applied on a body. But there is another term that is pressure and this pressure is defined as force per unit area. So we define it as It is generally denoted by and mathematically P is equal to F by A. That is F is force and A is area. Now we will discuss about its unit. pressure that is F by P. We know that the SI unit of force is Newton. So force new is expressed in Newton and area is expressed in meter square. So Newton per meter square is the derived unit of pressure but its SI unit is Pascal. Its SI unit is Pascal. This is the SI unit of pressure. And it is also defined as 1 Pascal is defined as pressure exerted by a force of 1 Newton acting normally on the area of 1 meter square. Force of 1 Newton acting normally on an area of 1 meter square. So from here we can say or we can state that 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter square. Okay. Now in the force we have discussed about the SI unit, its CGS unit, its gravitational unit. So in this case also apart from SI unit we have the gravitational unit of force also. So gravitational unit is we know that 1 kg weight is equal to 9.8 Newton. So 1 kg weight per meter square is pressure which can also be stated as 9.8 Newton upon 1 meter square and we know that Newton per meter square is Pascal so it would be 9.8 Pascal. Okay. So this is the gravitational unit of pressure. Now let us see the application of the formula which we have discussed above. For example, if a force of 5 Newton is applied on an area 
of 2.5 meter square. Calculate the pressure. So in the above question we are given the force and force is 5 Newton and area and area is 2.5 meter square. This is our question and we have to evaluate the pressure. Pressure that is P is equal to force per unit area. Force we are given 5 and area is 2.5. So on calculating this we get 2. So the force pressure is 2 Pascal. This was the formula based application which we have discussed. Now we will discuss about some examples where we can feel the pressure. Means we are talking of pressure in a daily life we are certain situations where we can feel that there exists pressure. There is physical existence of pressure. In it, first we will discuss about cutting knives. Consider that we have two knives. One is butter knife and other is sharp bladed knife. And you are given an apple to cut. First you will, you have to try it with a blunt knife that is also a butter knife. And then you have to cut that apple with a sharp knife. We will be observing that with a blunt knife, it's not possible to cut the apple easily and soothingly. But with a sharp knife, that is sharp bladed knife, it's very easy to cut the apple into various slices. It is so because as we have discussed in the above case that pressure is equal to force per unit area means pressure is inversely proportional to area and this area is area of contact means if area would increase then the pressure would be decreasing if we have a blunt knife, then the area of contact, that is of knife and of apple, would be increasing. So, if the area would be increasing, it would decrease the pressure. And when the pressure would decrease, the force that is proportional to pressure will also increase, decrease. So, due to this decrement, it is not easy to cut an apple with a blunt knife rather than the sharp knife. So here we can conclude that. Hence we conclude that it's easy to cut the vegetables or fruits with sharp knife. Now, we will discuss about the bags, that is school bags, which we use. We have noticed that school bags have wider strips.
again same phenomena that when the strips are wider there would be decrease in area of pressure that is pressure p is inversely proportional to area so when the area of contact will be more due to the wider strips of bags then the pressure would decrease due to decrease in pressure it will exert less force because of this relation hence it would be easy to carry the bag so here we conclude that wider strips decreases the pressure on the shoulders it is easy to carry a school bag next we can take example of nail in nail it is easy to fix a sharp nail rather than a blunt nail as in the blunt nail area would increase due to this relation and when the area would increase it would decrease the pressure but in sharp nail the area would decrease which would increase the pressure hence we conclude that it is easy to fix a sharp nail rather than a blunt nail so this was the brief knowledge about the pressure and some visualizing facts which make us to feel the pressure in our daily life